Howdy there, folks. It's Geist, bringing you some more Destiny 2 content. We are continuing our series on exotic primaries, and today's video is going to be on... Dead Man's Tail. Now, uh, Dead Man's Tail is our first lever-action rifle, and I gotta say, this thing looks absolutely beautiful. Bungie did a really great job designing this. Uh, the perk on Dead Man's Tail is Cranial Spike. Chaining Precision hits, grants bonus damage, and quickens reload speed. So the two major things that this perk does, it increases your damage, uh, stacking up to five times for every precision hit that you land. This refreshes after four or five seconds and you can continue the stacks every four or five seconds. So all you have to do is land a critical shot within four or five seconds or so, and the, the stacks will continue to build or stay at five if you're already at the max. Uh, when those stacks are built up, it does increase your reload speed. Now for each stack uh, that you have there, it will increase the reload speed when you go to reload the gun, uh, which is always a big help because this gun does load bullets two at a time. It's got a very fancy nifty kind of reload, but it is a long reload. Uh, the other thing that it'll do is it will amplify the damage. Now for the first three stacks, you're not really going to see much of a difference. Uh, at four stacks, you will be able to two tap a Guardian Zero Resilience, which is very rare, so probably not going to happen a lot. And at 5 stacks, you'll be able to 2 tap a Guardian for Resilience or less. Now, realistically, you're not going to find yourself 2 tapping Guardians that often with it. Um, however, uh, since this is a 120 Archetype Scout Rifle, which is our first and only 120, it does match the same capabilities of the 120 Hand Cannons. It's got a little bit more damage than our 150 Scout Rifles, so if somebody gets so much as tickled, you can 2 tap them. And also, like those 120 hand cannons, it's very good anytime you give it any sort of damage buff. Something like Whispers of Hedrons, etc. It's going to cause it to two, two tap just the same as with those hand cannons. The difference being, uh, this does have iron sights as opposed to the red dots on the hand cannons. So at closer distances, it is still a little wonky to aim. You're not going to have quite as easy a time acquiring targets because the gun does block your view a good bit. Uh, but it has a lot more range than those hand cannons and the perk on this gun helps to extend that range just a little bit And that's kind of a gray area uh, when you get to the point that this weapon has damage fall off You're honestly not going to be able to use this gun at that range because the iron sights are going to be so clunky at that distance And honestly with the size of our map since we don't have too many maps with long sight lines This thing effectively doesn't have any damage fall off so you can basically just treat it as a 120 hand cannon with a little bit different sights on it that doesn't have fall off. It also does not kick anywhere near as much as a 120 hand cannon, so it is a lot easier to stay on target. On that note, flinch is absolutely detrimental to this weapon. If you don't land your first shot, I honestly recommend that you go back into cover and then either try re-peeking or come in from a different angle. Uh, you won't see me do that a lot in this video because I'm still kind of new to the weapon, so I wasn't really good at doing that. I was kind of treating it like some other weapons. If you miss that first shot, it is oftentimes hard to recover from missing that first shot, and you're going to get flinched upwards, and the gun is going to start to block the other person that you're trying to shoot. It's almost better sometimes to actually shoot a little bit below the head, aim for the throat area. Uh, the gun does have a very generous hitbox, and you will find yourself still landing headshots. Uh, we don't have the catalyst for this gun yet, but we do know that the catalyst is going to enhance the hip fire. It's going to remove the bloom from the hip fire and make the hip fire a lot more accurate. So, for the time being, this gun is absolutely excellent at mid to long range engagements. Closer ranges, it can still be used, but it's not quite as effective as something like a hand cannon at close range due to the way the iron sights work. When we do get that catalyst and somebody moves in close to you, you will be able to hip fire them and it's going to kind of be like using a lower time to kill last word. So in the future, when we do have the catalyst, uh, you'll be able to use the gun in close quarters as well to still defend yourself, unlike a lot of other scout rifles, uh, with the exception of maybe some of our rapid fire scouts like Symmetry. So when we do get the catalyst, it's going to make this a very well-rounded weapon and a very consistent weapon. You'll be able to duel effectively with it at long, mid, and close range engagements. It doesn't have the greatest time to kill, but it does have good flinch. So as long as you can land your shots, you're going to do well with it. And this weapon does also come with random rolls on it, just like Hawkmoon does. Uh, whenever you complete the mission to get this, you can recomplete it once per week to get another random roll. Now this is once per account, not once per character. 
Perks that I think you want to be looking for are going to be 4th times the charm and Vorpal Weapon. 4th times the charm is going to put more bullets in your mag so it takes longer for you to get to that long reload. And then Vorpal is just a no-brainer because it helps you deal with supers and crucible, which is always an amazing perk to have on a primary weapon. Now as far as class pairing goes and exotic pairing goes, this is a very well-rounded weapon and doesn't really have any particular synergies with any exotics. Uh, so that's a good thing. Any class, any exotic you want to use doesn't matter. You can come up with some nifty little combos yourself. Uh, I myself, I like to use Mask of Bakra so that I can back up whenever I get aped by a shotgun. What you definitely want to have are Scout Rifle Reloader mods on your gloves. Um, that, coupled with the exotic perk on this gun, will make it so that the reload is significantly faster and you're not just standing there hiding in cover watching your Guardian load the gun 2x2 two two till the cows come home. It's a pretty safe bet that the enemy Guardians are not going to want to sit there and watch your cool reload animation, so do yourself a favor and use those reloader mods. My last bit of advice is all about weapon pairing with Dead Man's Tail. It is a scout rifle, so you want something that's a little more close range. I myself favor sidearms. Uh, SMGs and auto rifles are also a good backup, and of course shotguns. Now, whenever we do get the catalyst for this, hopefully the gun will be a lot better from the hip, so weapon pairing may not matter as much, and it could be a decent all-rounder. And with that, that about sums up my thoughts on this weapon. Uh, whenever we get the catalyst, it's going to turn it into a very well-rounded weapon. It's a fun weapon. Uh, I've enjoyed using it. You get to channel your inner cowboy and destiny, so what's not to love? So at this point, I'll leave you folks with the rest of this match. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful evening.